This is a little lime hydrangea, newly planted last year. This is a firelight hydrangea, also planted last year. Here's a little lime punch hydrangea, same thing, planted last year. And this is a little quick fire hydrangea that I planted last year. In fact, I planted a little row of them in this curved bed back here. A question I get a lot is, I just planted these last year, do I have to prune them this spring? And the answer is no. They're already very short, but there are some things you can do, including using the pruners, to touch these up, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm Laura from Garden Sanity. Let's get started. So as you can see, this little quick fire beautifully kept the majority of its flowers during the winter, which I absolutely loved. It looks so pretty. But when you look closer, you'll notice, and this is partly what nature does, is many of these can just easily come off right at the end. I say easily and then I'm struggling with it. But see, the, a lot of them will come off just like that. And then what you're left with is you're left with kind of a broken stem. And you'll see, here's one here as well. They're actually all over the shrub if you look closely. So that's what we're gonna clean up today. And then we'll take a look and see if there's anything else we need to do. So I'm not just gonna cut these off willy-nilly. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to see this cut. I'm gonna try to look for a node where two little buds are coming out. And I'm gonna clip it right above that. Nice clean clip, and this can just be tossed away. So that's what I'm gonna do on this whole shrub, is I'm just going to look for the nodes. What's nice that you start to see is you start to see all the great buds. And this shrub is gonna put on a gorgeous show again this year. This is a really easy job. <laughs> it actually becomes easy even as the years go on. I mean, I've had, this is a very similar shrub to a limelight, so if you're looking, if you have an older quick fire and you're wondering how to prune it, look at my how to prune little lime hydrangea video and that's gonna tell you exactly how to prune it. It's the same concept, exact same thing. So now we need to look at, is there anything that we need to trim or prune off? Is there any, you know, at this young stage, are there crossing branches? Now, see these two guys? My prediction is that these two guys within this year now there's my finger to show you the room but watch when i take my finger away they are almost touching see that so my prediction is as they grow they will start scraping together so i will probably take this one out so with the crossing branches you want to get down as close as you can to the base of the stem so I'm get down from the top and just cut that one off now this stem right here see how it juts out it's going to keep growing and eventually it's going to kind of run into these hellebores so i will probably take this back and i will take it back just so you can see this here's the long stem right here's the uh, hydrangea that fell off these are stems that need to be cleaned up anyway but i'm going to take this back to this beautiful set of buds So I'm gonna take these taller stems down just a little bit to make it more even with the shrub. They're already strong stems, so it's really not gonna be that big a deal. So I'm gonna take this one down to here. And again, there are two nodes right there. And with this one, I'm gonna take it down to where it already has a stem shooting out. So that's all I have to do with this shrub. I mean, there's a few leaves I'm gonna get out, but it's ready for springtime. Easy. So now I wanna move up the bed and show you a little quick fire that I planted even later last season and it didn't really have that many flowers. And as you can see, none of them even stayed on during the winter. But there's still some maintenance to do on these. And as you can see, there's lovely nodules, buds, already forming. So I want to take those two tallest stems down and I'm just going to go down this way so you see I kind of want to match it up with the rest of the shrub. So that means I'm going to go down pretty far and I'm going to do this right above a node and this right above a node. 
Now the only other thing I'm going to do to this shrub is you see you got this guy. He's very long. I think he was stretching to find some sun. But I don't need them that long so soon because, as I said, the rest of the shrub is a little bit short. And that's the one thing you do want to do. Just kind of keep it all in proportion. It's easy to get excited when you see a long stem like this and you're like, oh, it's starting to really shoot out. But you want it all to kind of be uniform. So I'm going to cut it right down here. See where that node is? Right above that. And that's all you have to do. So now let's take a look at another example. This is a little lime punch hydrangea, also a panicle hydrangea, as I mentioned. It's a funny story about this one. I ordered it last year, stupidly, in the heat of the summer from Home Depot. It's not a good idea to order plants in the heat of the summer. At any rate, they lost it. And so I never got it. They refunded my money. Two weeks later, it shows up from FedEx. After being in a box in the dark on a truck for, I don't know, almost three weeks. It was basically dead, but I know that these are tough hydrangeas. So I gave it some TLC and it did bounce back. But as you can see, I had to cut a lot of dead stuff off. It's really small. So I'm not even gonna trim anything on this at all. I'm just gonna leave it and let it do its thing once it starts kicking in. One thing you can do with all of these panicle hydrangeas is give them fertilizer. I use a slow release organic fertilizer called Hollytone by Espoma. It's an acid fertilizer and all panicle hydrangeas love acid soil so it's a really good thing to put around your hydrangeas. You can do it now in early spring and they'll thank you for it with lots of flowers. So I hope with these examples I answered your question and you can see that you don't really even have to do anything to these shrubs other than maybe give them a little bit of a cleanup and give them some fertilizer. And if you have older shrubs that you want to know how to prune, here's two videos that'll show you how to prune panicle hydrangeas. I hope this helps, and until next time, happy gardening.